this author has written the book that all of us have looked for usually once a year during open enrollment. Uh, I know I did this year. It is called Trump Care versus Obamacare, How to Shop for Healthcare in the Chaos. Jennifer Daly, come out here. We have a lot to talk about. We do. Hello. Um, So open enrollment this year was crazy. And I have to tell you, as a business owner, Mm -hmm. I didn't know what to do. And I didn't know what to tell my employees what to do because they're very worried. I have a lot of employees who were on the exchange. They're worried the exchanges are going away. They want to know what's going to happen. We feel, as a business, very unsure about what decisions to make around healthcare, and then me just as a person. I sure. feel like I read those benefit statements and then I give up. So your book, How to Shop for Healthcare in the Chaos, I feel like we need at least a few tips. Tell us something. <laughs> okay. Well, I wrote the book because I've, I've had 33 years in healthcare, and I help employers find the right care, the right place, the right provider, and critically, the right price. And I really wanted to help individuals like myself who have their own business, and we're out there buying individual insurance. My son is 22, he's a contract employee, so he has to buy his insurance. And so I I decided to write the book for that person to help them make sense of the market. And as you said, the fall open enrollment is super important. And um, for those of you out there, don't be worried, the exchanges are not gonna be going away. Um, you can go to healthcare.gov and find a healthcare exchange in your state. And there are other um, But the prices options. did go up a the, lot. Yes, the prices are going up. And uh, so you should be, if the first thing you should do is see if you qualify for a subsidy. And if you do, and a lot of people do, like over 80% of the people on the exchanges do qualify for a subsidy, um, the way to get there is healthcare.gov, not healthcare.net, not healthcare, you know, .org or .com, healthcare.gov. Um, and so that's a place to start. And that's what I try to help. You and with. will your, I was going to say, will your book help them? Because I have to say, I went to healthcare.gov, it just made me want to cry. There was a fetal position involved. Mm-hmm. So is your book a good place to start before you try and navigate the exchanges? Yes, yes, because I, get, I, I go through a bunch of alternatives as well. So we had Obamacare, and Obamacare is now changing with the Trump administration. So I go through the changes, and I go through the various alternatives. You do have to find uh, out whether uh, certain products are legal in your state. Um, so that's one of the complexities. Um, but going to healthcare.gov will help you do that. And then I also go through, you know, if healthcare, if you're finding that healthcare is unaffordable, which many of us are, and you don't qualify for a subsidy, what do you do now? Some people are opposed to high deductible health plans, but actually, if you think of it as true insurance, and like the way you would insure your house, you know, you don't expect to um, get insurance for a new carpet. So you should be thinking about your primary care and paying for it directly and shopping and finding what's the best value for you in the market that you live in. So I tell you how to do that. So your book is really for consumers, but I know you work with businesses as well. What types of business, what types of problems do businesses come to you with and how do you work with them? Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I work with large employers on and work uh, with them on establishing solutions with their local hospitals and contracting with their local hospitals for their employee benefit plan and um, creating networks for their employees. And really, we talk about quality, price, and educating their employees. So that's what I work on. It's fantastic. So I'm going to ask you a question here. Um, and uh, let's see, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, losing focus. So Sarah from Bowling Green says she tends to lose focus when she starts writing. She gets a bunch of different ideas and then starts with uh, down a bunch of different paths. Did that happen for you? How did you stay focused? That's a perfect question for me because... Um, my book covers so many different areas and I could have covered a hundred more. Um, so I think the, um, 
really the deadlines in the program and being accountable, uh, Jennifer talked about being part of a team, and being accountable to your you and your team here helped me stay focused and, you know, write um, one chapter. And I live rurally. I, I am sometimes very isolated. I live on a ranch in a log cabin. And so I'm sitting there writing and I'm all in my head and being able to tune in to the support and the people in um, the author incubator was incredibly important to me. I can say without a doubt that this book would not have been written without your support. Huh. Well, let's show people the book then. Uh, this one is time sensitive. It is free today, um, but you really want to get this now. When is open enrollment start? September? Um, actually, it doesn't start until November. November. Yeah. Okay, well, we're already looking at plan options around here because there is a lot to consider, especially if you are uh, an independent business owner. Trump Care versus Obamacare, How to Shop for Healthcare in the Chaos by Jennifer Daly. Jen, thank you so much thank for being so much. my guest on the red carpet.